Okay guys, so the dually is getting another LED headlight upgrade. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to do uh, the low beams on uh, this Chevy, Chevy truck, 2002 Chevy truck. Uh, it's a 9006. And uh, I showed you before these headlights on this generation uh, come out very, very easily. I'm uh, just going to unplug my lights here. And we're going to swap the bulbs out. Now, I have HID uh, in the low beams right now. And if I can get rid of all this mess right here, um, I mean, even if uh, the brightness is equivalent to, to HID, I mean, if I can get rid of this, I'll be happy. Okay, so what am I going to use to uh, replace the HID? Well, got this from uh, Oxbeam. It is their Series F16. I have them uh, in my high beams, and uh, they are awesome. So. I'm expecting uh, good things in the low beams here. Okay, so guys, I want to give you a look at these uh, headlights here. This is what you get here, and this is a, a 9006, like I said, low beam for a lot of vehicles. Uh, there's, there's two LEDs on each side. And these are Cree LEDs. Uh, the color temperature is 6000 K on these. Um, there's also, you can see, it's got like um, like a ballast on an HID. But I guess this is a, a, a CAN bus driver. And what it does is it helps to eliminate the air codes. I think on newer cars, the, the LED draws um, so little power. I think um, some cars think the the bulbs are are out, so you, they'll get a warning message. And I guess this um, helps keep the the current constant and uh, keeps the the warning light from uh, going off in the cars. And then obviously you're going to have a plug here, and whatever bulb you order, this is this will have that the factory uh, connection. So there's no modifying of your harness or anything. Um, it is a plug and play uh, conversion. Okay, so the light has an aluminum housing. And you're going to notice on the back side, it's got what uh, looks like a, a cage. And what's in this cage is a fan that turns on with the light and uh, helps keep the, keep the light cool. So that's the specs on this light. Um, let's get them installed. Alrighty, let's get on with the install. Um, nothing uh, nothing uh, difficult about this. You're going to pull out your old bulb, twist it, it comes out, and you're going to take your new bulb, and we're going to stick that in the, uh, in the light. Okay, so I'm having the same trouble I have with the high beams. Uh, this O-ring on here, I hope I can get a shot of that. The O-ring on there seems to be um, really too thick to uh, let me slide the light into the, into the housing. 
So what I'm going to do is what I did last time is I'm going to swap this, this O-ring out for the, uh, the O-ring on the old light and uh, we should be able to uh, slide that in. Okay, so I got an old O-ring swapped in from another old light we had. And this should slide in now. Fairly easily. Okay, so again, it, it's a tight, it is a tight fit, but I mean, you want a good seal on your light, so just uh, watch out, you do not press too hard on this, this uh, cover for the fan and push that onto the fan or, and destroy the fan, and just, just, just be easy with it. Okay, so with all the trouble I'm having getting the... Uh, the lights to go in with the o-rings that um, aux beam sent. Um, I wanted to do a little test here. So I've got my um, factory original housing here and I just wanted to see if the, the o-rings that they sent with the lights um, if they if they went in easily um, on an OEM housing and they do. Uh, no issues at all. Um, it slid right in, locks on, so um, this is not an aux beam problem uh, with the O-rings. I'm, I'm guessing this aftermarket housing again that I have, uh, that is the problem with the, uh, the O-rings. So um, I just wanted to let everybody know that um, when, you, when you buy aftermarket parts, uh, you know, you have to be ready for small issues that pop up and... Uh, if you do have an aftermarket housing like I do, uh, just be aware, um, you might have to swap out your, your old um, O-rings off your original bulbs. Okay, so the lights are installed. I've got the LED bulb on the driver's side. Um, according to all the specs, uh, the LED should be very close to brightness of the uh, HID. Um, we'll see what it looks like right here. I can hear the fan come on, on the LED. And uh, just like uh, HIDs normally need to do, uh, the one needs to uh, warm up so uh, you know right now uh, the HID actually looks brighter but uh, off the camera uh, the LED is actually a whiter light the uh, HID has more of a a bluer tint and that's that is a 5000k bulb in that HID so we got the HID there and we've got the LED well let's back her out here we'll shoot it up against the uh, the shop door and uh, we'll see what kind of uh, output they're actually uh, putting out you know looking at it it's really hard to tell uh, what's actually going on so let's get her outside and see what it looks like okay so here we are up against the shop door uh, it's really hard to say if, if one is brighter than the other uh, I know the LED is is whiter than the HID and you know usually whiter light is better light 
um, for actually seeing. Um, you know, I don't know. I'll I'll swap in the other one and go for a ride and get some uh, real world testing, and uh, I'll see if it's uh, better than the HID or not. Okay, so here's the LED lights on a dark road. I'm going to give a uh, shot of the HIDs um, just to, to give a comparison. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think they're, they're very comparable lights, but the only thing is, is the LED lights look whiter than the HID. So driving around, I actually feel like I can see better with the LED lights than the HID. So, I mean, I would highly recommend these bulbs. Uh, they've really surprised me with how good they really are. Um, so, I guess that's it for the install, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.